we went to court September 30th. My sister took off from work. I took off from work. I did reschedule my ultrasound for the following day. So thank God they were able to squeeze me in so quickly. And um, I had all my documents in order. And I made it my business to not make any eye contact with anyone irrelevant to me and the situation. So I had it in my mind already that in the event that my ex-boyfriend would be there, I'm not going to even scan any room to see who's there. And um, I told my sister, hey, if you see Asmodeus, do not tell me. Don't start acting weird. Please try to keep your rage under control. Don't tell me. Because I'm going into this whole situation with tunnel vision. I need to focus on what matters right here and right now. And I don't want to be compromised because, to be fairly honest... The next time that I know I see that man, it's pro- it's gonna get on, it's gonna get on my nerves and get underneath my skin. Um, not because he has any value or meaning to my life, but because the things that he did are so fucking heinous and crazy and insane that I can't even make eye contact with you at this point because it's just gonna make me fucking sick, change my whole entire mood, cloud my judgment, but in a way where I could make mistakes with everything that I am saying. I don't want to be choked up, caught up, or anything like that. I don't want no anxiety. The situation itself is ridiculous. In my attempt to keep a clear mind and a clear head, I'm not making any eye contact. So, um, when we went into the courtroom, they called the case. We both went up there. This is the first time I have seen this woman in my entire life. And we're in a courtroom because of a nigga. Never seen you in my life. And we're here because of Asmodeus. I don't even know how you could go home to a house that he's in without setting it on fire. I would have changed the locks, locked him in and just torched the house. That would, oh, couldn't do it. Couldn't be me. Could not be me. Has never been me. I'll never be that. I'll never do that. I'm too good to be that. But we go in there. I got all my documents in a thick folder, put my documents on the table. We swear to tell the truth, nothing but the truth and all that stuff. The girlfriend asked for it to be postponed. I took off work. I rescheduled my ultrasound. Where's your evidence? What exactly did you show the hearing officer you had to go before and the judge for them to give you a TRO? What did you show them? Where is that? Prior to this, a few minutes prior to this, the judge is reading me, you know, the alleged charges. She says cyberbullying. And then she says stalking. That was the only thing that got me to like put my head up like, wait, what the fuck did you just say? Stalking. She didn't say cyber stalking. She said stalking. And then it's all coming clear to me now. So that's how you got a TRO. That's why your kids are listed in your TRO. I don't even know why the fuck they're listed because... um. I've never seen them in person. I've never met them. I've never even spoken to them. So for them to add up, for them to end up on the TRO is just wild to me. But stalking. Now I'm looking around like, what the fuck is actually wrong with you? We all know. I didn't. I don't know where you live. I don't know where that woman lives. I don't know where that woman lo- works. I don't know what that woman fucking actually really looks like in person. Because again, I'm telling you, I had tunnel vision. I made zero eye contact. I didn't even care to see your shoulder out of my peripheral. There is no need for me to look at you. There's no need for me to to acknowledge who the fuck else is even in this courtroom. I don't need to look because you're the one that has an issue with me. You're the one that's trying to ruin my life and my livelihood and 
my ability to film, feed my kids and pay my bills. Because I'm a nurse, I can't get restraining orders against myself. Like, I can't get a restraining order against me. And there's kids listed too. That severely jeopardizes my career. I'm in school right now getting my RMBSN. That would be a major fucking problem for me. So this whole entire transgression of hers, I take as a serious ass threat. Did you really go before a fucking hearing officer though and tell them I was fucking stalking you? Are you fucking kidding me? I have never, I don't stalk nobody but payroll. Nobody but payroll. I don't stalk. And now it's making me wonder, because she told me that she had a stalker in California who Asmodeus was fucking. And the woman started showing up at their daughter's daycare center. So is this the, the shit you say all the time? See, again, I am, I, I, if nothing else, I'm logical. If nothing else, I'm logical. Still human at the end of the day. But for the most part, with situations like this, I'm logical. From my assumption, because I've never done this, I have to only assume... If someone were to stalk the girlfriend, fiance, wife, whatever, let's say it'd be a mistress. If she, if that woman were to stalk the other woman, the primary woman, it would be a means of, it'd be a means of getting through to the man that's involved, the common denominator. If I do this or say this or show this, I can create trauma and issues and friction and get the man's attention you you're not my payroll manager there's no reason for me to ever fucking stalk you of all people in the goddamn world but you know why there would be absolutely no point in any woman stalking that woman to get through to asmodeus Because you'd have to matter to him in the first damn place. The kids would have to matter to him in the first damn place. And they don't. You're not the weakness and neither are the children. They may be your weakness. Which explains why the fuck you're still there. But they're not a... he's Y'all not a weakness to that man. What the fuck would I be stalking you for? Cute as I fucking am. What the fuck am I gonna stalk you for? That doesn't even make any fucking sense. Not to mention... I am huge. I am huge pregnant. All I do is go to work and take my black ass home. Occasionally I go to the Cherry Home Mall from time to time and I, you know, splurge. But I don't stalk people because I have a fucking career to be concerned about. There has never been a man in all my 36 years that would be worth me jeopardizing how I feed my kids. No, not work. Never. Never could be me. Could never be fucking me. I've done plenty of dumb things. That's not fucking one of them, though. So, since it was postponed, we go to court on Tuesday. Today's Friday. We have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Four days left. Four days left. And I'm actually pumped and fucking excited because I need to see these videos and photos of me allegedly stalking you. We don't even live in the same sister towns. Like, they're like 20, 30 minutes from here from me. I'm not currently driving. How the fuck? Why the fuck? I take issue with going downstairs to get my damn mail. Why would I leave my house pregnant as I am to stalk you? That makes no sense. It is totally so out of my character because I would never do something stupid like that. Stalk you for fucking what?